Hey there! In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to pick two songs to start mixing with. And when I say mixing, I mean beat matching or blending. You see, I started DJing professionally only two months after I bought my DJ gear. And only a year later, I was getting paid to DJ in Europe. And I truly believe the three tips that I'm going to teach you today are part of the reason why that happened for me so quickly. I'm DJ Nicole Otero, professional DJ from NYC. And on this channel, I put out a new video every Wednesday and I teach beginner and aspiring DJs how to get started with their DJ career. If you like what you see on this channel, press subscribe. If you stick around till the end of this video, I'll show you where you can get my free music resource guide that will have links to sources and also I will list my top 10 tracks that I think would be perfect for you to get started mixing today. So let's get started. So tip number one is pick one style of music. When I first started DJing, I had already been clubbing for nine years. And in those nine years, I was listening to hip hop, R&B, techno, house, drum and bass, disco, classics, you name it. I was loving it. If it made you dance, I loved it. But when I started DJing, I knew there was one style of music that was my favorite and that was house music. And I even got more detailed than that. And I knew that the style of house that I really enjoyed the most was deep house music. And that is the only style of music that I DJed for a, over a year, I would say, even two years. And I think that's the reason why I was able to get booked so quickly because I was very specific about the parties that I was gonna get booked for. And people knew how to find me because of that, because I was a specialized DJ in one style of music. So even if you love all styles of music, really try to pinpoint and focus and see what would I have the most fun spinning. So for tip number two, I want you to select songs that have similar BPMs. BPMs means beats per minute, also known as the tempo of the song. So the higher the BPM, the faster the song is. And even though you may select two songs of the same genres, they still may be very different in their tempos. For instance, house music started out at 120 BPM, but now house music could go anywhere from 120 BPM to like 140 or 145 BPM. And when you're trying to beat match and blend records, that's just too wide of a range for your BPMs to work, especially when you're just starting out. So that's the second tip I have for you. Make sure that your tracks are either the same or very similar. I wouldn't stray more than five BPMs. And for my third tip, you need to create cue points for mixing. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on the DJ controller, but I just want you to think of songs and, you know, just different points, you know, when things change when the vocal comes in, when the bass line drops, all those sort of cues tell you when it might be a good time to mix in the next track and mix out of your current track. So creating cue points is key. Now you're very lucky. You have DJ softwares today that where you can visually set them. When I was starting to DJ, I was DJing on records and there was no way that you can actually mark them. The only way you needed to know how to mix in and out was by actually counting the bars and knowing the phrasing. So you really had to just know your records inside out. So I still recommend that. I think that you should listen to your records, whether you're in the car or if you're on the train or, you know, just walking around and you have your headphones on, just listen to the music that you want to mix from beginning to end so that you don't even have to actually count anymore. You just feel it. So now let's get into how to apply these tips while mixing. For tip number one, I said pick one style of music, be very specific to choose your first two tracks to mix with. So I, of course, I'm going to start with the house track. And as you can see, I have two tracks. And one is at 124.9 BPM, one is at 126 BPM. So they're very similar. My um, pitch shift is at the center. 
and they're almost identical, 124, 125. So that means I'm only gonna have to adjust one of them to make them exactly the same. And I definitely recommend that when you're first starting out to just start at the same BPM. Now, don't assume because they're the same BPM that they're just gonna lock. Never assume that. You always have to use your ear, okay? And you'll see now for tip number three, I have created cue points. So for Thousand Fingered Man, I've got cue point number one here. You can see this is cue point number two. And the reason why is if I go back to one, all we hear are beats. That's all you're hearing. But if I go to cue point number two, Keyboards came in, right? And more keys. So I would say you've got like a synth that came in at cue point number two. Cue point number three, you've got the keyboards and the top line, that melody. Right? <laughs> that melody. And then cue point number four have vocals, right? Vocals clearly came in. So that's why you'll create cue points so that you can understand the phrasing of your song and really you understand the arranging of a song, which is so cool because it could help you with music production if you decide to get into it. So again, I have four cue points in the beginning of the song, but then you'll notice in the middle of my song here, I have two. And those are my cue points to let me know where is a good time for me to start mixing in another track. Okay, because house tracks are pretty long. And yes, sometimes it's okay to play the entire house um, track, especially if you're DJing an eight hour set and you're playing house music all night and you really got the crowd, you know, in a certain vibe. They want to, you know, you're, you're dragging it out. But a lot of times you don't want to play the entire song. So it's good to understand, especially on a musical deep house track like this, when is a good time to start mixing in? So that's why I have this cue point in because I counted a bunch of measures until before all the music drops out and it's just the beat. So you see in this cue point right here, you see now it's just kind of like, it's just beats. You get a little vocal, but there's not as much music going on, right? So the track that I'm gonna mix into for uh, Thousand Fingered Man is a remix of Plastic Dreams. And the beginning is very DJ friendly. There's just beats. But you'll notice that I did create a cue point here. And that cue point, let's listen to how it starts and then you can follow along with me. So it sounds like this when it comes in. Just beats which is perfect to mix into another track. Just beats, no music. You don't have to worry about things clashing, out of being out of key. So what happens here at this cue point? What came in? The bass line. And with, some, with a track like this that's kind of minimal, it's not you know, as musical as Thousand Fingered Man, the bass line is pretty, it's a big deal, especially if you're in a, in a club with a big system. Like when the bass line drops, that's like, you know, it's a huge introduction for house music. So that's why I created that cue point. And I pretty much want to be mixed out or close to mixed out of thousand, you know, the first track at that point. I want that to be like, you know, like people to feel it on the dance floor, like, mm, you know, and it's all about the kick in the bass line when it comes to I would say most dance music, even hip hop, you know, slower BPMs. It really is all about the drum and the bass line that gets people dancing. So let's see that in practice now, right? So I've got both tracks at 125 BPM and I have two similar styles of music. Even though they're deep house, they are very different, right? One is very vocal and musical. One is pretty minimal. And uh, so let's, let's see how that sounds. Um, I'm going to bring this to 
my first cue point. I'm actually gonna bring this, you see this bottom track, I'm gonna bring it a little bit before because it's at this cue point that I'm gonna start to mix in my other track, okay? So let's just, and my first track, I'm gonna have it at the beginning, you see? So cue point one for Plastic Dreams, and um, right before this cue point we're gonna be uh, mixing into, so. Let's just make pretend this song has been playing for a while. And then I'm gonna, in my headphones, I'm cueing Plastic Dreams in my headphones, right? And I have to listen to two different things in my, in my ears. I'm still waiting for this cue point right here, and I'm counting. with the pitch shift. hearing why it's good to DJ with two similar styles of music, also how cue points can be helpful, and why you want to pick tracks with similar BPMs. So now let's do the same thing but with two hip-hop records. I'm going to pick a remix of Snoop Dogg's Drop It Like It's Hot and D-Nice's No Plans For Love. So these technically aren't in the same decade because Drop It Like It's Hot was definitely a long time ago, but this is a current remix of it. And um, D-Nice's song is new. And as you can see here in the BPMs, they are not at the same BPMs. They're starting, you know, originally this track with the pitch shift in the center, it's telling you it's 105.8 BPM. And this track is at 110, but five BPMs is workable. Okay, you can definitely adjust one of the tracks without it sounding weird. If it starts to get above 10, even if you don't mess with the pitch, you know, it's touch and go, especially in the beginning. You know, I'm talking to you, beginner DJ who's just getting started trying to find two tracks to mix with. So I'm going to right away with the pitch shift, bring this down to 105.8 BPM to match exactly the other track. And let's listen to what this Snoop Dogg track sounds like. I'm gonna play it from the beginning. It's pretty hot. So you would obviously let this track play a while, you've mixed it in from another track, but you're just starting out. So just so you know, we could, let me bring this down so I don't hurt my ears. Since the vocal comes in here, I could create a cue point just telling me that that's 
um, our second key point where the vocal comes in, right? Just so you know, that's where the vocal comes in because you never know it's gonna help with phrasing. But for right now, I wanna know a point where they're, it's gonna be good to mix in D Nice's track. So that's why I created this third. That could be a good point to mix into, but um, I'm actually going to now go to this cue point. <laughs> little break here would be a perfect place to bring in this other D-Nice track. So if we listen to D-Nice's track, it starts like this. And you can see here, there's not much of an intro. Right? So by the time these horns come in, I could put a cue point here. Right? This is where the horns come in, so I could create a cue point just by going like that, or I could have pressed it right on my um, hot keys. That's By that point, I want to be mixed out of Snoop Dogg's track, right? Mixes with hip hop in general are a lot quicker than house music or like EDM. You're writing mixes with EDM and house music for a while. And hip hop, you're kind of in and out, and sometimes really quick, you know, you're just like cutting in and out. But, you know, you, it is nice to be able to mix hip hop records as well. So now that I have those cue points and I understand the phrasing, let's hear what that sounds like. So I'm gonna bring this to the one, I'm gonna bring this to my last cue point and see what that sounds. I'll bring it in a little bit before because I know, actually, yeah, just a tiny bit before, okay. And I'm gonna press Q on my headphones so I hear what's happening in D-Nice's track in my headphones and this is playing out in the loudspeaker. And that was really smooth, right? And if you want to speed it up, now I can slightly Again, you know, it really helps to start with two tracks that are similar BPMs, that are similar style, and um, to know your phrasing. So that's why you need to create cue points to let you know, okay, this is where I wanna mix in. And those three tips are why I believe I was able to start a professional DJ career so quickly. And um, that's why I wanted to share them with you today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. As promised, if you just scroll to the bottom of this video, there's a link where you can download my free music resource guide where I'll give you my top 10 tracks that I think would be perfect for you to get started mixing today and also links to various resources where I think it's a great place for you to get started DJing. I'm DJ Nicole Otero, professional DJ from NYC, and every Wednesday I post a new video here to help aspiring DJs and beginner DJs how to get started DJing. See you next week. Bye.